Here we're looking at Austrian pine. It's in the family Pinaceae, in the genus Pinus, and the specific epithet is nigra. So Pinus nigra is Austrian pine. Let's take a closer look at its identifying characteristics. Austrian pine has bark large plates, and these will get a little larger as the tree ages, typically darker, less reds than what you'd see in Ponderosa pine. So grays, uh, darker colors, maybe a little bit of red in some of the younger tissue. The needles on Austrian pine are fairly dark green and stiff, and so they have a somewhat similar appearance in the landscape to Ponderosa pine. If you look closer, you'll see that the needles usually are a little bit smaller, and you should only see needles grouped in twos, not twos and threes that you might see on Ponderosa pine. Here's the bud of Ponderosa pine. It's a fairly large for a pine, and it has this resinous white uh, on it. And as you move into the winter months, that tends to make this entire bud white. So it stands out, a, a thick pointed white bud against dark green foliage really makes it easy to identify Austrian pine from a distance away. Here's the a newly developing cone of Austrian pine, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but there on this little brown spot, that's the umbo, and it's slightly armed, which means it has a little prickle or a little thorn-like structure there. That thorn-like structure is deciduous, meaning it will eventually fall off once a cone is fully mature. This is the fully mature cone, and really there's not much left on this umbo in terms of any sort of prickle or thorn. Most of the seeds have already fallen out. There are still a few that look like they're stuck inside. This is a pretty typical size and shape of a mature and fully opened cone. Here you can see what Austrian pine looks like from a little distance away. There are a couple of them right next to each other, and they have very full, dense crown of foliage, nice dark green, and you can imagine in the winter months when there's not much else green around that that white bud really sticks out against the dark green foliage at the ends of the twigs.